Um, yeah, I, I'd like to start to start off by saying I'm proud of the effort that our players gave. Uh, Drake's a good football team, a uh, very mature football team with a ton of fifth-year seniors. Uh, I think there was a point uh, at the beginning of this year where, where we felt like we had uh, as veteran of a group of players as we've ever had going into the season. Unfortunately, uh, as the season's gone on, we've seen to lose more and more of our uh, players, particularly our veterans, um, you know, taking the field today for the coin toss. Uh, it's a little disheartening when three of your four captains are not in uniform because of, uh, because of injuries. Uh, and when you play a team that's as talented as Drake uh, and as physical as Drake, um, you really have to play four quarters of football. And we didn't play four quarters of football. It was too uneven of a performance. There were some inc incredibly uh, heroic plays, uh, outstanding plays on both sides of the football. Uh, but we needed more uh, when you play a team like that. Uh, again, I, I'll give our players credit, our young players in particular, playing a lot of freshmen uh, uh, in the secondary and, and uh, uh, at, at tailback and, and whatnot. It, it's just, um, uh, it was, it's easy sometimes as a young player to uh, get disheartened, uh, especially when the momentum swings like that. But uh, I'll give our football team credit. We did not quit. We kept plugging. We clawed our way back into the football game and unfortunately let it slip uh, in the last five uh, minutes. Um, but up until that point, uh, I'm really the, uh, proud of the way overall that, that we played. Um, this is not where we wanted to be uh, at this point in the season. Um, but you, you take it one game at a time at a time and you look at ways that you can do to get better. Uh, injuries are going to happen. Uh, most teams are banged up. I've never in all my years of coaching been around a team that's been as banged up as we are right now. Uh, but that's what life throws at you and we're going to make the best of a, a less than ideal situation. We've got three weeks left in the season and we're going to do everything we can uh, to get victories in each of these last three games and, and send our seniors out uh, on uh, as high a note as we possibly can, can make. Um, uh, referring to seniors, obviously Mason's here. Mason has done an incredible job. Uh, again, he went out there today not 100% uh, and uh, played uh, some phenomenal football for us. He's done an outstanding job uh, playing in, in, you know, right off the bat uh, from week one, uh, his freshman year all the way through uh, this season. Uh, he's done an incredible job and, and, and made some, some huge plays for us, particularly on third downs uh, again. Uh, he's done a great job. Chris, um, you know, again, I know he knows he didn't play the best football that he's capable of, but again, he stepped up and, and got into a rhythm and was able to uh, uh, make some big time throws to, to put us in uh, position to, uh, again, challenge for getting back into the football game. Um, you know, both of these guys did a great job on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, you know, and Austin's a guy who's uh, turning into one of our emotional leaders, particularly with uh, uh, not having Nick Turner um, out there. Uh, he's really kind of picked up the mantle and, 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 and done just a great job, um, you know, backing up a really good football play uh, with some, you know, becoming a guy who uh, is an emotional leader for us out there uh, as well. Austin, on that note, just what are the challenges of dealing with so many injuries on defense? Uh, keeping morale up, but like Coach said, I try to bring as much emotional upbringing as possible for our team. Whether we're down 20 or up 20, we keep the same mentality that we're never going to quit. We're going to keep the foot on the gas pedal, play after play, and that's what we are forever going to do here at Belvo. Mason, at this point in the year, as a senior, what can you say to your teammates uh, as far as encouragement for the final three games? Um, I mean, nobody really expected us to be where we are right now. Um, it's it's been a big disappointment, but it'd be a lot bigger of a disappointment if we just you know packed it in for these last three games. Um, nobody ever thinks it goes by this fast, so got to put everything we had in these last three weeks. Coach touched on the differences between having fifth-year seniors out there versus freshmen and sophomores. You're somebody who played as a freshman a lot, and now you're playing as a senior. Just what's the difference between you as a freshman and you now? Um, uh, maturity, I'd say. Um, I had a lot of false starts when I was a freshman. Um, a lot of just freshman mistakes, we call them, just doing things, not recognizing 
how fast the game really moves. Um, the speed of the game really changes a lot from high school to college, so I think that's a big difference. Chris, the last four weeks, you came in knowing you were going to split time with Jimmy. This week it was different, it was your game. What are the differences for you out of those two situations? Um, it's just mainly when you know you split in time and that it's like you you got to just you know grab the opportunities at hand but when you when you have the whole game yourself you know you could settle in in that but um, it's all just you know capitalizing on your opportunities that present themselves in that coach late in the game each of the last two weeks there was signs of the comeback uh, just what can maybe say about yeah for the late in the game the score has been close and uh, this comeback effort yeah uh, again i think it's uh, our, our players have done an incredible job of digging down deep when we need it. Uh, unfortunately, what we're missing is being able to finish that. You know, we put ourselves the last two weeks in position, uh, and for the most part, that's kind of been the story of several of our close games this year, is getting ourselves to a point where we need one more play, we need one more turnover, we need something to happen, and unfortunately, that's when we're choosing the time to throw an interception when we're on offense or you know give up a big fourth down on defense, whatever it is. Uh, those are the types of things that, uh, you know, when you, you're in close contests, you know, you, you come down to these critical moments in the game. And, and again, it, it's, it's great that we get back to that point, that if we're down by two or three scores and we get ourselves back to that point where we're in position to even have that critical type of play at that point in the game. But we have not been able to rise to the occasion in those critical uh, moments, uh, with the exception of the Butler game, and that's why we were able to defeat Butler. Touch on some of the, uh, I guess, creative play calling, whether it's the fake field goal, mm -hmm. the way using Ryan Barkoff, or just uh, and how maybe the injury situation has impacted. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, starting uh, with Ryan Markoff. Ryan uh, is an athletic quarterback for us who, you know, unfortunately has been injured most of the year. He got injured uh, really his first uh, snap of college football uh, after redshirting his freshman year uh, uh, this this uh, in September against Duquesne. But he's been he's fought back uh, from a knee injury and a hamstring uh, injury, and and so he was healthy and ready to go. And and uh, with our uh, depth issues having our both uh, our first and second string tailback uh, down uh, going into this game. We, we decided to rep him some at the tailback uh, position as well to help us uh, with our depth at that position. And, and uh, again, Drake is, a, is a, an incredible defense. And, and uh, unfortunately, we weren't, weren't able to get uh, much started uh, in the run game. But he was able to step up and make a couple of plays, make a nice catch on a third down situation. Uh, and that's good. And, and you know, when you play a defense that's as talented uh, as Drake's um, defense is, uh, you have to take those types of chances. You have to look for different ways uh, to gain an edge. You know, this past week we, we felt like we had a great uh, fake field goal designed uh, against them and, and uh, uh, felt like that was the right opportunity, the right situation uh, to call it. And, and uh, you know, those are those types of plays that when it works, it's it's a huge momentum swing. And, and uh, unfortunately, uh, they had one guy sneak through, and, and uh, Demetrius had to make a cut. And, and he's a great athlete, but uh, just put his foot in the ground and slipped. And, and uh, we'll take a look at it on film. I think it was a good call. And, and uh, in games like this, you have to take certain types of risks. We've never shied away from those uh, in the past, and we're not going to now. Um, well, starters, having everybody doing their job opens up opportunities like that. And having to allay the cut block, I knew it was just going to be me and the quarterback. And seeing him not look at me, I just got super excited that I was going to be able to have a sack. And it just kind of sparked our defense up right then and there. And then you saw throughout the game as it went on, we were getting to the quarterback a little bit more, making them frustrated, making them change up their play calling. So it was exciting, to say the least. Um, let's see. They, their experience for sure. They're, they're five, seven, was it seven retros seniors. But it's just they, they do a bunch of stuff and they do it good. They are very. They have a, a multiple defense in that, but they're just well coached 
assignment football and all that. Amazing you've been guys uh, and more, uh, more receptions, more targets this season. Uh, just how does maybe your role in the offense develop? Yeah, it's been fun um, to get kind of more and more targets as years went on. I think a lot of it has to do with coverage being pulled away because we got a lot of other really good weapons at the skill position. Um, so I got to thank my guys for that. Um, but it's been fun, definitely, to go throughout the years and get some gains. Yeah, uh, well, Marist has uh, had a, a pretty good run here the last couple of weeks. Uh, they're, they're a dangerous football team. You know, they started off uh, with some losses, and, and then I think they found a quarterback uh, who they – they know can uh, can move the football. The, the, their uh, wide receiver Christian is is uh, uh, had. Uh, I know they won big today. I'm not sure what he was like statistically, but I know he had had a, over I think 250 re uh, yards receiving in each each of their last two wins. So uh, so it's a dangerous football team, and uh, they're they're kind of riding a, a wave. Uh, of uh, some victories here. I'm sure their confidence is going to be high and, and uh, it's going to be a long trip out to, to Poughkeepsie uh, on Friday. Our players are going to have to be focused. Uh, we're going to have to uh, see where we stand uh, from an injury standpoint uh, uh, coming up here uh, tomorrow and, and we'll regroup and do everything we can to get a W.